in the township of Yubobo, um, which has quite a big catchment in the hills at the back here, and my house is just across the road. So at the height of the flood, and for three days, I had one metre of water under my house and through my yard, which was um, a little bit frightening when you didn't know when this big rain was going to stop. And was very pleased on the Sunday when it did stop and the water started to flow away. <laughs> well, I suppose in the aftermath, of the flood was the help that the Phoenix group gave to all people in the valley um, as most of the, well all of the rural um, landowners, graziers, farmers etc lost kilometres of fences, sometimes their entire lot of fences and the Phoenix group were amazing. They came out with equipment, materials, food, everything you could possibly want and volunteer workers to help put things back together and they did that over two weekends. Often you've got families that have been here for generations, um, as my family has, we're five generations now in the valley and um, so there's a strong sense of community and at present we've got a lot of new people arriving in the valley for the lifestyle um, and cost of living in Gladstone's very high so they come out here because it's a little bit cheaper to live out here. And so you've got a mix of the old with the new people who appreciate you know, being able to live in this community as well and contribute to it, towards it. But I think the sense of community spirit that came out of it was especially when the power was off in um, this end of the valley for only 24 hours, but the other end of the valley for longer. And people were, you know, helping each other with loaning generators and um, communications because we had none except for Facebook. And you had to use your generator at some stage to use Facebook because there was no power. And you know, people helped each other out wherever they could. Um, people helped with supplies. Um, a friend of mine up the road had a little grandson staying with her, didn't have a supply of nappies and he was stuck here so the people from the school were able to help out because they had a toddler the same age. And, and people tended to pool their resources a bit because, you know, it was a long time before we could get out and get new supplies. Mm -hmm. And have you written a poem? Um, yeah, it's a little poem about what it was like on the Started it on the Saturday night of the um, Australia Day and finished it a little bit later, but you want me to read a couple of verses out? It's called The Day Mother Nature Won. On Wednesday night the rain had started, the rain we had waited for for so long. And on Thursday we started to realise, time to shop, replenish pantries, supplies and so on. The big wet was finally coming, the water was starting to run. Down roadsides and into gullies, the creeks running wouldn't be long. Thursday night the six mile began swelling and Marble started her run too. While Glassford just got plain angry and the ten mile was waiting its turn. Reception you never can trust him, he was building to flood to the brim. And the Boyne, she was sitting there waiting for them all to unleash their flood into her. By Friday the Boyne was a monster, stirring from her long dry sleep. As she crept through the valley we didn't know how much she would make us all weep. As her creeks strained their fury into her, she slowly began to creep, then rushed through our beautiful valley, and before her all she would sweep. By Saturday morning she was roaring in anger, across her flats she flowed so deep, leaving nothing aside from her plunder, and dragging all before her beneath. She gathered logs, fences and cattle, and threw them all into her cauldron of grief, till she gobbled up all in her pathway, and broke records beyond belief. And I'll just read a little bit down the bottom too. Um, this is afterwards. So now the rain has stopped falling and we see exactly what Mother Nature has done. So much mud, so much debris, so much heartache. Mother Nature has definitely won. Bitumen roads peeled away and thrown. Cement causeways broken and gone. So much loss in our beautiful valley, we wonder what we did wrong. To deserve this slashing so lethal and why she went hurling and crashing along. So now we're left with the clean up. But valley people will unite and fight on. And we stand together as our forebears taught us. Our pioneer spirit will definitely live on. And we'll return this picturesque valley to the beauty we've known for so long. That'll do. Beautiful. <laughs>